It is a very special blessing to receive the Aaronic's priesthood. History records the glorious day when the priesthood was restored to the earth, giving men the right to act as God's agent as they performed the sacred priesthood ordinances. It was on the fifth day of April of 1829 that Oliver Cowdery arrived at the home of Joseph Smith in Harmony, Pennsylvania to inquire of the prophet about the work he was doing in translating an ancient record, the Book of Mormon. Convinced of the divine nature of the work, he agreed to act as scribe to complete the translation. The work of the translation progressed rapidly once Oliver committed to act as scribe. By the 15th day of May, 1829, Joseph and Oliver had already reached 3rd Nephi, the history of the resurrected Lord visiting the Western Hemisphere, hemisphere and his teachings about baptism thrilled them. As they read in 3rd Nephi, their minds started to wonder about baptism. They wondered what manner of baptism is correct and who has authority to perform this sacred saving ordinance. They sought answers to this fundamental doctrinal question. They resolved to seek an answer by prayer, and they went to a nearby place on the banks of the Susquehanna River. There they poured out their hearts, and the heavens opened to them. An angel appeared, introducing himself as John the Baptist, and he told Joseph and Oliver he was acting under the direction of Peter, James, and John, who held the higher priesthood. Placing his hands on their head, he said, Upon you, my fellow servants, in the name of Messiah, I confer the priesthood of Aaron, which holds the keys of the ministering of angels, of the gospel of repentance, and of baptism by immersion for the remission of sins. And this shall never be taken again from the earth till the sons of Levi to offer again an offering unto the Lord in righteousness. Later, Oliver recounted the event in these words, but think, further think for a moment, what joy filled our hearts and with what surprise we must have bowed when we received under his hands the holy priesthood.